a typical biodigester construction i'm going to show you a typical work that we did biodigester that we constructed for a five bedroom story building house and then we had to replace the septic tank with a biodegradable waste biodigester this is one of the ways of improving waste management in our part of the world because then obviously people are having septic tanks that are not working for them and it's giving them a lot of problems so when we show up in this particular property what we had to do was to make the assessment and then come to an agreement with the homeowner we explain all that is involved in it and if it's something that they are willing to go ahead with and then some of the parts of the things that you need to know when you want to replace the septic tank with a biodigester is that you will have to change some of the toilet seats especially if it's a story building and the toilet seats are down it has to be done in such a way that all those toilet seats that are buried already in the ground will have to replace with a pea trap seat. I mean, I've done several videos that explains how basically you have to go about some of these things. We spoke with the homeowner and they agreed to it. Luckily, only the down toilet seats, three of them, are the ones that were supposed to be replaced with pea trap seats. And then they agreed with the plumber and then everything was done and then they were replaced. And then we had to come and do the digester, meet it at a point where all of them can come and then have it drop in into the into the digester. We also have to divert the pipes and then add the wastewater into the bigger drainage system that is going outside the house. That's key. All these conditions have to be met before such a job can be done. So that's basically what we did for this particular house. This is a channel dedicated to the construction of biodegradable waste biodigesters and general home improvement right here in Ghana. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe and be part of a growing community of biodigester lovers in our part of the world. So continue with this particular video. What we did basically is what we have done over the years. When you come to a place and then you are told the situation on the ground, you do your assessment and then you give the conditions in which the job can be done. Sometimes you have to replace some of the toilet seats. Sometimes the gradient and the level is enough for the biodigester to work. But in this instance, the rooms that are downstairs, it's a five bedroom house, two, two bedroom rooms are up and then three are down. The ones that are down will have to be replaced. And then of course the pea trap seat. The reason for that is because you want to get enough elevation and then you know you want to get enough inlet into the digester and then enough outlet so that it can be matched to any particular drainage system whichever or a soak away or a soak up with which one is available to you in this case we had a bigger drainage in front of the building and then the wastewater and all those other kitchen and bathroom were all going there so the whole idea was that we have to try and match that particular wastewater and then match the inlet as well so that we can get enough room in the inlet for the biodigester biodegradation process and the bedding to work and then get the water out as much as possible because the key reason why you are doing this job is because the, the homeowner is having problems with the septic system that they are using and then it's not working it's no more effective so if a biodigester is coming inside what's the solution the solution the key problem you are going to face in such a situation is the wastewater if you do another soak away if the land is not good it's not going to work so the water will always have to be out and that's what I've always spoke about when it comes to biodigesters. The wastewater must have a way to go. And if that one is done, then you know that you are in safe hands. And then you have solved half of the problem that you are going to encounter when you construct a biodigester. We also ask the plumber to maintain the traditional vent pipes, the vents that are on the building. Remember some issues have come up about biodigesters and vent pipes. And we always say that because of the digestion process that's involved in biodigesters, you don't need a vent pipe on the digester itself. The vent on the building, which is what the plumber must do for each particular house that they go to, is enough for any scent or smell that will probably be coming from the building or from the digester. So those ones are solved by us agreeing with the plumber that the vent down on the building should be used for this particular job. And then we did our thing. We did a large family size by digester. We used the precast prefabricated slabs. We used the cutter to cut the measurement to fit. And then we installed the biodigester and then we fix, we meet the pipe with a three inch pipe 
into the waist line and then of course the body against the material bedding material was done and then it was covered and the plumber also did this part whereby he terminated the pipes that were going into the septic system and then connecting them redirecting them back into the biodigester he also did the p trap seats inside and then got enough elevation into the biodigester so basically that's the job that we did here if you like this video you can be part of us you can also leave a comment below and then obviously if you have any other issues you can get in touch with us the next video that is showing on your screen will show you more understanding will give you more ideas about how biodigesters work and how they are giving homeowners that needed peace of mind. Thank you.